What's up guys, my name is Adrian and this is Chance. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to paint the chrome front bumper of your F-250. Although this technique does apply to other trucks, today we're going to be focusing on the teardown of this particular F-250 as well. If you don't wish to watch this section, I'll make sure to set timestamps in order for you guys to skip to the painting section of today's video. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. The first step to removing the bumper is going to be these two bolts here and these two bolts over here. For this, we will be using an 18 millimeter socket with a half inch impact in order to remove the bolts efficiently. Behind those bolts, you will find these two brackets. Keep these safe because they hold the bumper to the frame. In the wheel well section of the truck, right behind the fog lights, you will find this bracket here with these two bolts. We're going to go ahead and remove those now. And this will be the same for both sides. As you can see above me, Adrian's actually taking out the connector for the fog lights at the moment. It's definitely going to be a little bit of a struggle. I got dirty in my eyes. Should have washed the truck before we hand, but... No, because that would be smart, you know? <laughs> right behind the air dam here, we're going to find this connector here. This is the fog light connector. Usually you can just push it in and it disconnects, but in my case, it is not happening. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to push the clip inside upwards, and that way it'll come loose. And if my calculations are correct, it should come right apart. The fog light wiring is secured in place with a zip tie that is attached to the frame. We're going to use a pair of wire cutters to cut the zip tie out in order to be able to remove the bumper. I have done it by myself, but for this part, I do recommend having some help in order to take the bumper off and onto the ground safely. It is a pretty heavy bumper. It is a steel bumper. So just keep that in mind. In order for us to remove the fog lights, we're going to use an 8mm socket with a ratchet and we're going to have 1, 2, and 3 bolts to remove. And it is going to be the same for both sides. That's hot. That was hot. <laughs> now that all of the bolts are removed, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the fog lights themselves. So that's one. There is a clip here that holds the wire together. We're just gonna go ahead and pull, pull that. Yummy. <laughs> To remove the stab pad, I'll be using needle nose pliers to pinch the clips and push them through. To get to the clips on the middle section of the bumper, I do recommend going on the front and you will see the clips right here. And it is the same thing, we're just going to pinch them and push them through.
now that that's done we're gonna go ahead and remove the air dam what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fingers behind here and just pry upwards just be careful not to rip the air dam looks like the center one was already disconnected we're gonna do the same thing for the third one just pry straight up and just like that the air dam is off we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side and to remove the valence we're gonna have a couple bolts as well as clips we're gonna have to remove these are all gonna be eight millimeters so we're gonna be using a ratchet to do that now for the bolts at the end of the bumper on each side we're gonna be using an extension for the ratchet to be able to reach down there this is To remove the clip, I'm just going to be using a handy dandy flathead. In order to do this with the flathead, what we have to do is pull the head of the clip out and the clip should come right off. It may take a couple of attempts, a couple of angle changes, but it'll come out. And look at that, we did three at a time. Who needs that clip tool anyway? Number next, same thing, just gonna pull the head out and the clip comes right out, just like that. And same for the rest. This one here was giving me a bit of trouble so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the middle section of the clip and it should open it enough to come right out just like that and that is it for the bumper my friends now we go ahead and sand Alright guys, when it comes to painting chrome, the most crucial process is going to be the sanding. The proper way to sand chrome in order for the paint to stick properly is going to be with 80 grit sandpaper. And the goal is to not have any shiny parts. As you can see here, this is how it should look. But if you look over here, you're going to see a shiny spot. This is a big no-no and this will need to be addressed by further sanding this part here. So make sure you go through the whole bumper and make sure you don't have any shiny spots like those that may need some further attention. To sand this bumper today, I've been using a dual action sander, more commonly known as a DA sander. So when it comes to these bends over here, the sander can't reach these. So we're gonna go ahead and sand these by hand so we can get down in those crevices. You're doing great, bro. You got this. Woo! I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just keep recording. You need my help. I, I think you got this. Awesome. Alright guys, so unfortunately we ran out of daylight, so we will see you guys in the morning. Oh, so that's how that works. Cool. But anywho, now what I'm going to do is give this bumper here a good old washeroo and make sure that there's no dirt or contaminants that may affect the paint job in any way. So once you've rinsed it and make sure that it is nice and dry, you're going to go ahead and wipe it all down with alcohol. I recommend doing it once or twice to make sure that there's no dirt or anything that may affect the paint job at all. And once that's done, go ahead and spray it down with a little bit of adhesive promoter. This is the one that I've been using and it's been working great for me. And now we're ready for paint. 